So if you are trying to get an Islamic kingdom to be part of your kingdom without fighting any wars, what you first want to do is capture, that's, a, that's capture their air. Now, the air needs to be unlanded. This is important. And the reason you need them to be unlanded is once they're in jail, you can convert them to Christianity, which you can't do if they already hold titles. You can only do it if they don't hold any titles. So what we should now be able to do is negotiate his release. We can demand conversion and we can recruit him at the same time. So we do that. Well, hey. He is now our courtier and he's Catholic. We have Granada sitting here. And we've deliberately kept Granada sitting here. And we've also kept the Duchy of Granada sitting here. So what we're going to do is give this title to our newly converted dude, who I'm now going to massively struggle to find. But the easiest way to find him, actually, is if we just pop back over here, because he's still the heir. Because you'll notice he's still the heir. He just happens to be currently our courtier. Now, he won't stay in our court for long, but he will stay in our court if we grant him the County of Granada. And at the same time, we're going to grant him the Duchy of Granada. This is important, because what it means is he now holds a Duchy-level title. And the Duchy level title is equivalent or greater to the title that he is going to inherit over here in Malta. Which means that when Willy Wally Isam here dies, he will still inherit. But because he is already our vassal and he holds a higher ranked title than the title he is going to inherit, Malta will join our kingdom. He won't leave it. This works for every single title up to, ki up to kingdom rank with a few exceptions. And those exceptions aren't obvious, but one thing we have discovered is one of those exceptions is France. There are clearly a couple of historical nations where it's always keyed to make those, those titles their primary title. And because it always follows your primary title, that means it, you might leave. My instinct is England is probably one as well. France is definitely one. I suspect Denmark might be one. But think of them as the big historic titles. But I don't think you'd have that problem if you tried it with Aquitaine. But you can try and find out. But anyway, now we essentially have that Duke as our vassal. As long as he doesn't die before his dad does, he's gonna, that territory is going to join our kingdom. And when I say doesn't die before his dad does, what I mean is doesn't die before we murder his father. Who wants in? Nobody wants in. Well, we might still murder Daddy. But that's how you inherit those titles in. And let's see if we murder Daddy, or when Daddy dies naturally, I'll just click back and just show you that that has now become part of our kingdom. So Count Isam is dead. So as described, remember that his son, who was his heir, is this chap. Who was within our territory and because it was this chap and he was already our de jour vassal malta is now part of hispania and that's how you kind of manipulate inheritance to inherit islamic country counties and it'll work with christian ones as well but it's particularly useful for if you need to try and inherit islamic territory without kicking off a war so there you go. That is how to use inheritance to expand your territory.